Hello everyone and welcome to the Ninja Trader ecosystem webinar room. My name is Juanita and I work here for Ninja Trader in the Denver office. We have a very special event for you today with Trader Dale of Trader Dale. I would like to mention it is important to understand that there are substantial risks in trading commodity futures contracts and forex. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you and will depend on your specific circumstances and financial resources. <laughs> It is possible to lose all funds deposited with your broker and could even incur losses beyond these amounts. Please inquire at the following link for a full copy of the CFTC risk disclosure. Also, please remember that these training webinars are not a solicitation nor a recommendation, but simply educational in nature. This presentation is presented by NinjaTrader LLC which is the technology company responsible for developing and supporting the NinjaTrader trading software. Any brokerage related questions should be sent directly to our brokerage team. With new tools added nearly every day, NinjaTrader ecosystem is home to hundreds of apps and services. You can quickly and easily find tools or services you are looking for with a simple keyword search. You'll also find information about upcoming webinars in an on-demand video archive to view previous event recordings. Also, if you are active on social media, we highly recommend that you follow us on both Twitter and Facebook to get live updates every day regarding the NinjaTrader ecosystem. NinjaTrader is always free for advanced charting, strategy backtesting, and trade simulation. And if you are just getting started with NinjaTrader, we do offer free live training on a daily basis. We're very excited for this unique event in which Trader Dale will teach us how to use volume profile to find the best trade entries for your long-term trades and investments with real trade examples. Thank you again for your attendance. And without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome to the Ninja Trader ecosystem room, Dale. Please go ahead and take it away. Hey guys, I hope you can hear me. Thanks so much for coming to the webinar today. Uh, the topic is going to be long-term investing with uh, volume profile, and uh, I'm really excited to get started. So let's just go and uh, let's go to it. Uh, if this is the first you hear about me, then uh, I'll do just a brief introduction. Um, talking about my formal education, I have a university degree in finance and uh, a couple of the financial industry certificates, but I think that should not be the reason you guys listen to me today. I think that if you choose to listen to me today, I think that it should be because I have 12 years of trading experience. I worked as a market analyst in a brokerage company, been trading since 2008. I've been trading stocks, investment certificates, automated trading systems, and I focus mostly on uh, manual trading. I started a website, trader-dale.com, and I developed a couple of indicators for an Ninja Trader platform. It was the volume profile, VWAP, and order flow. And I also wrote two books. Both books became Amazon best-selling books. Uh, the first one was Volume Profile, The Insider's Guide to Trading. And I'm going to give you this book at the end of the webinar as a free gift. And the second book, that was a more recent book about order flow trading and order flow trading setups. Now, let's talk about long-term investing. So long-term investing is ideal for busy people, ideal for people who don't want to spend too much time with trading or people who want to keep their job, or it's also a very nice addition and diversification for people like me who do intraday trading, swing trading, and at top of that, you can also do this long-term investing, which is not really too time consuming and uh, this is what's uh, pretty appealing to it. So uh, the trading instruments, which uh, you can apply those methods I'm going to show you today on is basically everything that has price tag on it. So that could be equities, indexes, currencies, or cryptocurrencies, or raw materials. There is not really any limit. Everything that has a chart, everything that has a price can be used with this uh, volume profile methodology and uh, you can plan your long-term investments uh, using the methods I'm going to show you. So those are the most popular markets. Now, uh, talking about the time frame, because time frame is pretty important. And um, the ideal time frame for that, for those strategies is, at least for me, most popular is weekly charts. 
because those charts allow you to see the big picture all right it you know you don't see the noise from the fast time frames it allows you to see uh, the big picture which you see on the weekly charts also on the daily charts i'm also using daily charts for that but i prefer weekly now regarding data data which you're gonna need if you want to do this very good news is that you don't need to pay for any data uh, because ninja trader has this end of day data feed free in ninja trader platform it is in here you just connect to it and it will have almost all the instruments you will need all right so end of day data feed super simple to connect to it and uh, it is free and uh, if you are into trading cryptos then uh, there is the coinbase connection it is in here and uh, it is also free and built in connection in ninja trader so no problem with data super simple and uh, yeah if this is the first time guys you hear about volume profile i'll do just a brief introduction to volume profile uh, volume profile is a histogram which shows volume at price now it could look for example like this and uh, those bumps those places where the volume profile is wide this means that heavy volumes were traded there and those are the most important places in the chart because heavy volumes are the big trading institutions the big trading institutions move and manipulate the markets but uh, they also have disadvantage and that disadvantage is that they have insane amounts of capital which they need to allocate in the market before uh, you know before they start uh, to move the markets before they start to manipulate the market so they need to place those insane amounts of money into the market and through volume profile you can see those areas where those guys who are placing those heavy volumes those trades those massive uh, massive trades they place so volume profile shows you the price levels where the big guys who are trading and this is basically the edge of all my trading strategies tracking the big guys through volumes all right this is the edge and um, a lot of people ask me uh, why is volume profile better than standard indicators because you know you could have a look at it like all right so this guy is talking about another indicator right so one of many but there's one significant difference uh, standard indicators use only two variables in their calculation it is price and time basically they tell you uh, what the price was doing at certain point of time and i don't really think there's any edge in that but volume profile has three variables price time and volumes this is the important thing because through volumes we track the big guys that's our edge all right so that's the main difference between the standard indicators the internet is full of and volume profile now why use volume profile for long-term investing internet is also full of guys who do a lot of fundamental analysis like uh, for stocks and uh, you know this is just one step because they do the fundamental analysis they find the best stock to invest in but the second step should be finding a good trade entry because it's not really smart you know to invest in any stock you like because like if you look at the picture this is facebook stock right and there is a crazy strong uptrend and buying that stock just because you like it fundamentally anywhere that would mean in here at historical maximums right now that wouldn't really be smart so you need a good trade entry what smart guys do is smart guys and the big guys wait for pullback they wait for discount and they purchase their asset they want to buy at certain important levels like for example this one heavy volumes heavy volume area very important level so volume profile shows you good trade entries 
that's why I look, like to use it with those long-term investments. Now, today, I'm not going to talk about concrete steps to my trading setups. Um, if you want, you can learn those in uh, the book, which I'm going to give you, or uh, in the webinars, which I already had in the past. You can find those on my website or on YouTube. Uh, instead, what I'm going to focus today on is uh, showing you real trade examples, real market conditions, real markets, doing predictions, and I'll show you how I work with volume profile to do the long-term analysis there and how I plan long-term investments. All right. Now, just a couple of points, sort of basics, how to go about it. I'll look for heavy volumes because heavy volumes are the big guys. So if you look at this picture, then volume profile shows heaviest volumes in here, in this area, right? Volume profile is the widest in here, which means that the big guys were trading there and this is important zone. Now, probably the most important thing from today's webinar is this. And I hope you will uh, remember this, it says heavy volumes are strong support and resistance zones. I would say all the strategies which I use are built around this. So this is super important. You guys want to remember this. Heavy volumes are strong support and resistance zones. We are going to build on that. Now, let's go and uh, have a look at some charts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a couple of real trade examples of trades which I predicted and uh, that already played out. Um, I'm not really going to do that to boast of how my predictions work, but um, I think it's better to show you examples of real trades than on some you know, potential or made up trades. So let's go and have a look at the first example. Uh, this is a prediction uh, on the Euro, long-term prediction and uh, by the way, this is a link to that original prediction. We want to check it out. Um, anyways, this is a weekly chart. So one candle is one week, all right? Now, first thing I wanna mention here is this. This is important area for me because there was a strong buying activity. Buyers, aggressive buyers are pushing the price upwards, but then, sellers took over and pushed the price downwards. I call this a rejection of higher prices, right? And uh, what I want to see in such a rejection is heavy volume area, like in here. What I do when I see such a strong rejection is I use my volume profile. Um, I use flexible volume profile. This is volume profile. You can move around the chart, look into specific areas in the chart. So. You use the volume profile like this and you look into the rejection area. You look for significant volume zones like in here. And I hope you remember the most important thing from this webinar is that heavy volumes are strong support and resistance zones. So this one was a strong resistance. What happened was that the big guys were building up their shorts in here and then they rejected the higher prices and pushed the price downwards. And what you want to do is you want to wait for a pullback. And you need to be super patient because this is long-term investing and just waiting could take years. In this case, it was, um, yeah, it was over two years before the price reached that resistance. So you need to be patient. This is all about patience. You wait for the pullback and from this heavy volume area, you enter a short, all right? Because this is supposed to work as a resistance. Those big guys should defend this zone. Those big guys have great memory. Markets have great memory. So they will know that three years back, they were building up their shorts in here. They will know. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Uh, the second one, second thing to notice in here was this strong uptrend on the euro. Uh, when there's a trend, I also use my profile to look into the trend and uh, look for heavy volumes. 
look for heavy volume areas. So there were three. In here, I'll talk just about this one. And uh, I marked this one as a strong support. The price went upwards from there, and I waited for a pullback and went long from there because heavy volumes are support, all right? So heavy volumes, you wait for pullback and this should work as a support. So this is another setup I like to use. I call this one the trend setup. You can learn more about it in the book. Uh, yeah, this is how it played out. This is the um, this is the resistance and the reaction to it. 450 pips reaction to that resistance based on those volumes. And regarding this support, another reaction and 350 pips. All right, so this is how it is supposed to work. And uh, let's go and have a look at another example. This one was on gold. This is a daily chart on gold. And uh, the fir first thing to notice in here is the uptrend, strong uptrend on gold. It wouldn't be very clever to you know, invest in gold and buy it in here, right? So as I was saying, you need to wait for a pullback, pullback to heavy volume areas because heavy volume areas are strong supports or resistance zones. So this one was a strong support. I was writing in it in this article in this link. So you can also check this one out. And uh, the idea behind this one was pull back, wait for a discount and buy from there. This is how it went. This is the heavy volume zone. This is the support. This is the pullback. And this is the reaction. All right, this is how it is supposed to work. Heavy volumes are supposed to work as support. Now, another example, this is the last example, and then we will go into uh, current market analysis. Um, this one was a prediction on uh, the euro dollar, and this one was uh, on the monthly chart. So each candle shows one month. This is when I say that this is long-term investing, right? You need to use those time frames like daily weekly even monthly and uh, if you remember in 2015 there was this crazy selling downtrend on the euro it was a crazy year i was just you know the whole year i was just selling euro it was a good year anyways that's not the point the point is that there was this significant volume cluster heavy volume zones heavy volume zone which was created within the downtrend. So heavy volume zone in a downtrend resistance. Uh, the logic is that strong institutional sellers were pushing the price downwards. Then they were adding the short positions in here. That's at the heavy volume, the heavy volume cluster we see there. And then they were pushing the price downwards again so the information we had was that strong sellers were there. This was important zone for the strong institutional sellers. So you wait for pullback and it doesn't really matter. It, it took three years for the price to go back. It doesn't matter. And this was a resistance, so go short from there. Now, apart from this volume profile setup, uh, there's also a price action setup, which I really like to combine with a volume profile setups. And this setup says that uh, when there's a support, like in here, the price bounced off this support in the past. You can see that the price was reacting to this zone, right? So it was a support. And when a support gets breached, this is where it got breached, right? Then the support becomes a resistance, all right? This is simple and old price action setup, which I really like to use with my volume profile setups. 
And what I like is that when it com when you combine it with volume profile, like in here, because we have the heavy volume cluster in here, and at the same place, we also have the support, which became a resistance. So that's sort of confirmation of, uh, of the resistance, right? So those are the two ideas behind this long-term trade. It was a short, yeah, that was a pretty funny discussion on my website. People were saying that it was pretty crazy to wait three years for a pullback, that those guys won't wait for the short. Yeah, it was a great discussion. And uh, of course, those guys, those big guys were waiting at this price level. They were, they were waiting three years, as I was. So this is not the monthly chart anymore. This is a weekly chart. Uh, this is the short, and this is how it went. 1,600 pips, uh, 1,600 pips reaction. And uh, why I'm showing you this is because I want to talk about take profit placement. There is only one rule for take profit placement, and the rule is place your take profit into heavy volume area. So short was from here, and this was heavy volume area from which the strong uptrend started before. So heavy volumes, you now know that heavy volumes represent strong support and resistance zones, right? So this was a potential support. And when you are in a short, 1600 pips in open profit, you don't want to risk that this support will work because it, if it will, then you will start losing money. So that's why I say that you want to take your profit into heavy volume area or ideally a little bit before the heavy volume area because you don't want to risk the fight with the strong buyers from here, right? So take your profit into heavy volume area. This is what happened, all right? This was the reaction to those volumes. Now, um, about stop loss, about placing stop loss. Let's say that, uh, yeah, this is the same, same example. Uh, let's say that you want to trade from this support and you want to use it as a long trade entry point. Go long from there. Not a bad idea if you look at the chart. And the place where you ideally place your stop loss is you place it in a low volume area. Uh, what I should say is in a low volume area, which is behind heavy volume area, like in here, this was the heavy volume area and low volume area behind this heavy volume area was in here. All right, so this is the ideal place for a stop loss behind heavy volume area. Now, why I say that is that if the price goes and hits this support, this support zone, if it goes past it, then there is really no point in you know hoping the price will return back because support by this time, when the price is below this heavy volume area, the support failed. And there's not really you know, any reason why you should remain in the trade. So that's why it's best to just quit it in here, all right? Behind this heavy volume area. So this is stop loss placement, simpler rule. Now, let's finally go into the current predictions. What I did was I sent my members list an email and I asked my guys uh, to tell me which markets are most interesting for them. And um, today I'm going to cover those, the most, you know, the most favorite ones. So the first one was gold. 
everybody was asking for gold. So what you have before you is gold. Weekly chart. And um, first thing to notice is a strong uptrend. Second thing to notice is a rotation. You always want to look for those trends and rotations. This is like the basis, basics, what you want to look for in charts. So in this uptrend, there was one significant zone, this heavy volume zone. There was a pullback back to it and nice long from there. This was a strong support. This was the reaction to the long. However, this one is already spent. This support is already spent. And uh, I don't trade uh, trading levels twice. Only first touch, only first test. So this one is already tested. This one is already spent. However, there is another significant volume zone. And that significant volume zone is in here, around 1300. Why I say that there is a support zone is because of those massive volumes. Those massive volumes were traded in this rotation, which took place before the start of this strong buying activity. Now, the big trading institutions who are building up their longs in here, they show on volume profile. This is why volume profile is so wide in here, because of those massive volumes. Now then those guys manipulated the price to go upwards into an uptrend. But when there is a pullback at some point in the future, and I'm not saying this is going to be this year and the next year, maybe we'll wait five years. I don't know. Nobody knows. So you need to be patient. But if gold drops to this price level, then there will be this huge support, those massive volumes. And I bet that the price is going to react there. All right, so that's my long-term prediction on gold on the weekly chart. Now, uh, the next pair, I mean, the next instrument which I want to cover is the euro dollar, another popular one. And uh, what you want to notice first, again, is an uptrend, this trend. There were three significant volume areas. This one, this one, and this one. Now, regarding the first one, this one, the price has already made a pullback back to it and a reaction. So this support is spent. No point in trading it again. However, the two lower ones are still there, still intact, still not tested. So the first one in here, those heavy volumes, first strong support, the strong support, the second support is in here. That's support number two. Now, if you want to build up your portfolio and invest into Euro, what you want to do is split your position. So when there is a pullback, you enter your long from there. That's the first half of the position. And if the Euro continues to fail, I mean to fall, then you want to enter the second half of the position. All right. You hold the first half and you add to it. That's how you do it. I'm not saying you should go Martingale. That would be crazy. Just, you know, split your position in two halves, like in here. And then hope for the best. All right. So those two strong supports on the euro. As you can see, when you use the volume profile, it becomes pretty simple because it just shows you visually the strong supports. Heavy volumes, that's it. That's how you follow the big guys. And this works really nicely on those slow timeframes like weekly, monthly, or even daily. Now, another popular market which you guys ask for 
was the S&P 500. Again, the first thing to notice here is the strong uptrend. Now, there are three significant volume zones. This one, this one, and this one. The first one seems like it is, it's already been tested. There has been a little pullback, a little reaction. I think that the reaction will be bigger, but to me, it seems that this one is already tested, already spent. So I'm not too much into trading this one. But the second one has not been tested yet. And the third one, neither. So those are currently the strong supports on the SP500. And if you want to invest in this index, then again, what I advise you is take first half of the position in here, second half of your position in here. All right, so those are currently the strongest volume-based supports, which I see from the long-term point of view on the S&P 500, on the weekly chart. Now, another popular one is oil. And again, in here, there is a strong uptrend. Now you know what you need to do. You need to use the volume profile to look into the uptrend area, like in here, and look for significant volume clusters. First one was in here, and there already was a reaction, this nice pin bar, and I think that the reaction will continue upwards. But uh, this one seems already spent. By the way, there is also that price action setup. You see, this level worked as a strong resistance. Then the price went past it, and the resistance became a support. This pin bar, that's the reaction. Anyways, this one seems to be spent already, but we still have those two. The first one, a really significant volume cluster in here, is showing strong buyers who are adding to the long positions in here. And those strong buyers should defend this place. They should defend there are trades which they placed in here. So this is the first strong support. And the second one, this is based on the rejection setup. If you remember uh, the first uh, screen I showed you on the Euro, that's it. Strong rejection. In this case, this is a rejection of lower prices. And within that rejection, there is this volume cluster. All right, so heavy volumes. Strong support. So that's the oil. Now, the next market. You obviously asked for Bitcoin. I was not really surprised to see that. So, again, important thing to notice is the uptrend. Everybody knows about the uptrend, right? So, what everybody doesn't know about the uptrend is that there were massive volumes traded in here. By the way, this is a screenshot which I took from a video, which uh, I think I made the video like three weeks back. So the picture is not updated. If it was, it would show that Bitcoin right now is 44K, 45 last time I checked, somewhere in here. There already was a reaction. And uh, yeah, what I wanted to show you was the reaction to this heavy volume cluster. And uh, another thing to notice in here, let me just go to another screen. It's better visible there. This is the same one. This is the same screen only zoomed out a bit. So this is the heavy volume cluster which you could create it in here. And this is the level to go along from, right? And the ideal take profit, at least for half of your position, is in here around 
55K. And the reason is, remember when I was saying that ideal take profit, you should place it in a heavy volume area or a little bit before heavy volume area. So this is it. This is the heavy volume area. Those massive volumes, which were traded in here in this place, so those represent a strong resistance. Now, if you want to shoot for the stars uh, with Bitcoin, then, you know, at least with something, at least I would say a third or half of your trade in here, because this could work as a potential and strong resistance. The price could react to it and it would be shame to, you know, hold your full long position through that. So, this is the strong resistance standing in the way. And uh, what I wanted to show you is more support on Bitcoin. I'm not saying that Bitcoin will continue and uh, drop downwards. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if it does, then that will be, there will be nice trading opportunities. And those trading opportunities will be those supports marked by those heavy volume areas, those three. And most importantly, this one. So currently the strong volume based supports on Bitcoin are in here around 25K, then 20K, and then 12K. This is the strongest one. If Bitcoin drops there, then I think that this will be a very nice buying opportunity. All right, so that's Bitcoin for you. Daily chart, by the way, I haven't mentioned that this is a daily chart, but you will also be able to see that on a weekly chart. Now let's talk some stocks. You guys also asked me to do some stocks. And the most popular one was Tesla. So let's check it out. How you do the analysis with stock is completely the same, the same logic, the same setups as with the previous instruments. So again, what we do is first look at the price action. What happened there? Crazy strong uptrend, right? And within this uptrend, if you use the profile, it will show you this zone. For me, this is the most important zone on Tesla right now. Massive volumes were traded there in this rotation area before the strong uptrend continued. So this tells me that strong institutional buyers, maybe Elon himself, were buying massively in here. And uh, this zone should work as a strong support around 450. So if the price drops here, then this will be a nice opportunity to invest in this stock. That is, if you're interested in trading this stock and in investing in Tesla, then this will be the strongest level to do so. At least in my opinion, I could be wrong, wouldn't be the first time. All right, next one. Next one is Amazon. The price is in an uptrend. Everybody can see that. And uh, if you look at the volume profile, then uh, there are two heavy volume areas, super significant volume areas. Super easy to see with volume profile, right? Those important zones don't really need to be, you know, master in reading the charts to see those. So regarding the first one, possible support in here, but what I would like to see would be more price action, you know, more uptrend before pull back to this level and going long from there. So more price action to the upside before the pullback to confirm that those volumes, those guys who are really strong buyers who are adding to the long positions in here. So this support is currently sort of, I would say open to discussion. Let's wait and see if there's more price action 
above that support, then it will get confirmed and it will be good to trade, in my opinion. Now, regarding the second one, this one, strong buyers in here, absolutely, around 2000. If the price drops there, then this will be a very nice trading opportunity to enter a long trade to buy Amazon with a discount, right? Again, you don't want to buy it when it's at its maximum, when it's most expensive. No, you wait for a discount, all right? This is the discount. You need to be patient. Now, last example, this one is Facebook. There is a very nicely visible level in there. And this level is based, again, on strong uptrend and on heavy volumes created within the uptrend. This is the trend setup. I call this setup the trend setup because you use it when there is a trend. You can learn the exact steps in the book, which I'm going to give you. Now, again, Facebook is at its historical highs right now, so it's not too clever to buy it right now. What is clever to wait for the pullback and enter your position from the place where the big volumes were, where the big guys were. Remember, heavy volumes, strong support. So that's my prediction on Facebook. That's currently the strongest level which I see on Facebook. By the way, this is again the weekly chart. All right, so that's about that. That's about Facebook. Now, I took the liberty of creating sort of trading plan. Maybe it will inspire you to do a similar trading plan for yourself. Now, the first step to that trading plan would be make a list of trading instruments you are interested in trading. Could be, for example, stocks. If your guys are stock traders, then you create a list of stocks, let's say 30 or 50 stocks you are interested in trading. It could also be currency pairs, commodities, indices, cryptos. You can combine all that, just create a huge list, let's say 30 or 50 trading instruments, and uh, you save it. So in Ninja Trader, you go to tools, instrument lists. It will look like this. You can create a list like I did in here, which says long-term investing. And you just you know, save all those trading instruments there. So create a list. Now the second step is do volume profile analysis and place limit orders. You do the volume profile analysis like I showed you today. You use the profile and you look for heavy volume areas that really stand out of the chart. You do that preferably on a weekly chart. And you mark those levels in your platform. And what you do was important. You place limit orders, not just alerts. You need to place pending orders. And the reason is, actually there are two reasons. The first reason is that if, for example, you want to buy some stock and then the price drops rapidly and then makes a quick return back, then you may not be around the computer. You may not be able to catch it. The chance for you to enter your trade may be just a brief one. So you don't want to miss your opportunity. So that's the first reason. Uh, the second reason, that sort of psychological reason, and the thing is that, you know, for example, if there's a spike move, if everything starts to fall down real quick, then people are afraid. That's like a primal emotion. You can't really help it. And what you do when the price approaches real quickly your trading position, what people do, they start to have second thoughts. They are afraid. They start to question their analysis whether it was very clever to place that long there or no. So what could happen would be you just, you know, freeze and you don't enter your trade. And in my experience, that's a shame. You know, it's better just, you know, don't think about it, 
place the limit orders there, enter the trade automatically. And in my experience, this is the better way than, you know, start acting in a last moment according to your emotions, start being afraid, you know, you don't follow your trading plan and everything falls apart. So place your limit orders, not just alerts. Those are the two reasons for that. Now, third step. Yeah, we already touched that. If you are building a portfolio, split your trading positions at least into halves or thirds. So yeah, if the price starts to drop towards your long level, like I showed you on those examples, you enter first half at first support, second support, you enter second half if you get the chance. All right, so split your positions. Don't do martingale. Anything like that is super crazy, guys. But just split your position like this. Enter first half at first support, second half at second support. And the last thing you need to do is do an update every 14 days or once per month. You go through the charts again, through that list again. You do the analysis again, place new limit orders, you know, manage the trades which are already which you are already in and do an overall update on all that so yeah that's the that's the plan that's the rough plan now let me give you a couple of brief psychology tips first one don't look at charts too often second one don't look at faster time frames and third one is don't read news all the time. Doing those things, uh, that would only make you nervous. That would make you emotional. And being nervous and emotional, what it usually does is it negatively affects your trading plan. So don't do that. Those are the three tips how to stay sane trading on those high time frames like daily or weekly charts doing those long-term trades. That's how you stay sane. Now, what I would like to do now is I would like to point you to some further volume profile education. This is my website. You can follow trader-dale.com. There's plenty of articles, plenty of videos. And there is a section which is called daily market analysis. It is in here in the menu right there. Every day or almost every day, I post a new market analysis there. So you may want to check this section out. And if you really want to bring your trading to a new level, if you want to learn all there is about volume profile, then what I recommend, the next best step for you is go to trading course and tools in here. And there is a lead pack. This is my best educational pack where I'll teach you all there is about volume profile. And what I'll do today, what I'll offer you today, a special offer on the Elite Pack. And the Elite Pack consists of four products, essentially. Um, the first one is Volume Profile Video Course. This is a video course on trading with Volume Profile, and it consists of 44 videos. It, it's uh, 15 hours long. And yeah, it focuses on trading with Volume Profile, intraday trading, swing trading, long-term trading, and combining volume profile with price action. So there's the course, the video course. Then the second thing, and this is a lifetime service, it's my personal trading levels. So each day you are going to get my day trading levels as well as swing trading levels, as well as day trading video. And those levels are basically the levels which I'm going to trade that day. And you know, you can follow those every day. This is a lifetime. So You'll be getting all those every day. Now, the third thing which you are going to get is a volume profile indicator pack. This is a pack of volume profile indicators which I developed for Ninja Trader Edit platform. Those are the indicators which you saw in today's presentation. You can use those indicators to do intraday trading, swing trading, as well as those long term investments. And uh, this is also lifetime service. I mean, a lifetime license 
for multiple computers. And the fourth thing that's also an indicator is the VWAP indicator. Now, if you haven't heard about the VWAP yet, it is also a volume-based indicator. And uh, I really like to use VWAP as a combo with volume profile. So those two are ideal to combine. And uh, last year I had a webinar with Ninja Trader again on the VWAP indicator and the VWAP trading strategies. So you may want to check that out. So yeah, anyways, those are the four things which you are going to get with the Elite Pack. And as a bonus to all that, you will get free tech support. What that means is that this guy, this really nice guy, by the way, yesterday he had a really big day because his daughter got born. So cheers to her. I'm really happy for him. So this, this guy will help you set up your Ninja Trade platform. He will install all the indicators. He will connect you to data feed. He will load my workspaces into your computer. He will help with everything. So you don't need to read manuals and you can focus on your trading and on your learning how to trade. All right, so you'll get all that with the Elite Pack. Now, if you bought all that separately, it would cost you 836, but I'm not going to charge you that today. I'm going to give you a special discount as a special thanks for attending today, for staying until the end. I'll give that to you with 52% discount. So it will bring down the total price for all that to 397. If you go to my website, trader-dale.com, there will be a banner. It will look like this. You click that and you'll be able to get that discounted price. All right. Now it is limited only for seven days. All right, so in the next seven days, you can get that discounted price, then it will go back to normal. All right, so until the 20th of August, you can get the Elite Pack for 397. Now, if you would like to read some reviews on my service, then there's a page, it is called Forex Peace Army. And on this site, there are unbiased reviews and ratings from some of the members. So you may check that out. My course has five star rating. That's the best rating you can get there. This is the address. Just go there and uh, search for Trader Dale. Check it out yourself. Now, finally, the gifts, which I promised. Gift number one, that's a book which I wrote, the Amazon best-selling book, Volume Profile, The Insider's Guide to Trading. That's the gift number one. And the gift number two, that's additional content, which I put together. I created a special site for you. And on this site, there is uh, there are articles and videos related to today's topic. All right, so this is the gift number two. And to get both those gifts, you go to this address, trader-dale.com slash webinar dash special. And uh, what you will need to do is you just enter your email address and both those gifts will get emailed to you automatically right now. All right, so maybe you want to take a screenshot of it right now. I'll also send that to you in an email after the webinar. I'll send you an email with the recording and with this link. But you know, if you want to get it quick, you may want to... Uh, grab a screenshot all right guys that's it that's for the webinar today i would like to thank you for attending uh, regarding questions um i think that the best way to go about it would be to ask you to send me all the questions you had and all the questions you will have to this email address contact at trader dale.com and uh, what i will do is i'll compile an article where I'll answer all of those questions and um, I'll post this article on the website. I'll shoot you an email where uh, you can find this article. And this way you can all benefit from the answers I give to all those questions. I think that would be better than just, you know, answering two or three questions in here in the webinar. It wouldn't really be fair. So I'll just, you know, 
ask you to send all the questions you have to this address and I'll answer them all and make it public. All right, so that's about it, guys. That's for the webinar. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it useful and uh, thanks so much for coming. Thanks so much for having me here. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time, maybe in some next webinar or maybe in the members area. And uh, until then, happy trading. I would like to give a special thank you to Trader Dale for a great presentation. Ninja Trader Ecosystem is pleased to sponsor these weekly vendor events as a value added service for our clients. If you find value in these events, we hope that you'll attend them on a regular basis. We'd like to remind you the information provided in this was that of Trader Dale and not of Ninja Traders. All information was for educational purposes only and should not be construed as trading advice. Again, we do appreciate the time you spend with us and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day and hope to see everybody in future webinars. Happy trading from everyone here at the Ninja Trader ecosystem.